Right, here we go. Back again. Back again. Okay, and this time we have Project Bluebeam and our good friends at NASA, eh? And the continued conditioning, okay? And it is, it's absolutely unreal, the amount of stuff that is coming out every single day now. And today we had this from NASA, who released this image that shows us some sort of crater that is obviously hollowed out and they've mentioned it being an, possibly an entrance and to maybe shel uh, shelter in some sort of alien life, okay, seemingly. And it says, this image was discovered in 2011. Huh, by chance. It was spotted as part of a broader series of images taken of slopes of a volcano in Mars, on Mars, seemingly, okay? And it also goes on to say that holes such as this are of particular interest because their interior caves are relatively protected from the harsh surface of Mars, making them relatively good candidates to contain Martian life, NASA wrote, okay? So, what's the next step from that, I wonder, eh? Are they going to find something? Anyway, back to the conditioning. Forbes, four days ago, former astronaut suggests alien beings are here on Earth. Wow, ain't that something, eh? Alien beings may actually be walking here on Earth with us. <laughs> eh? Who knows, eh? Who really knows? Anyway, in this one it says... Four days ago, for the first time, astronomers have detected an exoplanet using radio waves, eh? A boring, unremarkable star 26, y light, 26 light years away turns out not to be so boring after all. Also, scientists claim to have found the first known extraterrestrial protein in a meteorite two days ago. Wow, eh? Also... One week ago, will alien life first be discovered on Europa, on Europa, exoplanet, or from Venus? Okay, so where's it going to be? It looks like they're going to say it's definitely somewhere. Oh, and here's our good friend Elon, of course, who, whose starship rocket crumbled like a soda can. Eh? What an interesting choice of words to use. Because it sure looked like a soda can, and well, if it wasn't, then it was probably paper mache, okay? Because <laughs> that's what it looked like. Anyway, back to the conditioning, and we have the dark matter mystery, okay? Nine hours ago, mystery of dark matter may be solved after discovery of exciting new particle, eh? Wow. Now, this is actually big news today, and it is absolutely everywhere, okay? It's being covered on every single platform, just about. And they reckon that physicists think we might have a new exciting dark matter candidate, okay? So, now, I'm no expert on dark matter, but we'll look into it a wee bit, and it says, for almost a century, dark matter has perplexed astronomers. It was first noticed, noticed in the vertical motions of stars, which hinted that there was more mass around them than what we knew. And also says, if dark matter doesn't actually exist, that would mean there's something very wrong with the standard model of practical physics we use to describe and understand the universe today. Ah, so this plays quite a key role then. So I would imagine they are definitely going to find it because it fits the narrative, okay? And if you want to see more about Project Bluebeam, you can look back in my last video, Project Bluebeam is 5G the final piece, which I'll link in the description, okay? So the conditioning continues. Anyway, that is about it. Bye-bye.